What's up, divas? What's up, divas? What's up, divas? What's up, divas? What's up, you guys? What's up? Back in the bathroom. Like, I'm back here in the bathroom doing a real talk video. I figured I would just do it right here because I was messing around with my lashes, trying to hook them up for you guys. You know, I was trying to look sexy and pretty for you guys. I wanted to look presentable for you guys because I feel like I just should look presentable. And also because who the fuck is sending me dumbass emails? Why? Didn't I tell y'all before? Don't come at me with the dumb shit. I, I be saying this. Like, I really literally say this. Probably in, like, every other a Real Talk video. Like, please don't come at me with the dumb shit. Like, I, I really do say that a lot. And I mean this sincerely and wholeheartedly. I mean this from the bottom of my motherfucking heart. Don't send me dumb emails. So I get this email, and I'm not even going to mention the person's name because it's irrelevant. But it was just so weird because it kind of reminded me of that other young lady, the other woman, whatever man, whoever wrote me, like, a few months ago, concerned, um, concerned diva or some shit like that it was. Um, sounded like her, but a totally different email, you know. And I'm, I'm, I'm like, is this her? Is she coming back for more? Or is this just, like, really somebody different? And I don't know. I, I really don't know. You know what I'm saying? Who am I to say? But it was just so crazy because why the fuck are you emailing me, dumbass, talking about I let myself go. Like, I'm not even going to bother to read the dumb shit because it's just irrelevant. But it, I was basically told in this email that ever since I broke up in my relationship... I let myself go. Um, yeah, I let myself go by not wearing... I'm going to tell you how I let myself go. Because they did explain to me. I let myself go by... I'm just going to pull it up on my phone real quick. <clears throat> Hold on. I had let myself go. Hello, April. Fuck it. How is it going? I hope this email letter finds you well as well as very well blessed. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. There are a few things that have went through my mind and because I was merely concerned about your well-being. It seemed as if you have let yourself go. Prior to your relationship, it seemed as if you had let yourself go. You stopped wearing makeup all the time, as well as stopped wearing wigs all the time. And it just felt like you didn't care about yourself. I've noticed this in quite a few, basically mostly all of your Real Talk videos where you're not on camera wearing any makeup. When you're not on camera wearing. I guess you want to say when you're on camera and you're not wearing any makeup. It just seems like you don't want to put in much effort into your appearance and I just felt like maybe you're depressed or going through something and I can totally understand and maybe you should let loose and talk to us about it or also maybe take a break just a concern i just noticed that as well as you did put on a few extra pounds and i'm not saying that you don't look good but i just was a concerned person so this is where it's like okay okay love happy holidays yeah Okay, so first of all, you guys, this is what I be talking about when I say the dumb shit. For one, I let myself go by not wearing makeup and wigs every day. Or when every day, because I, I don't wear them every day. Um, may, but she said mainly she's noticed this in my real talk videos that basically all of them, I guess, I don't wear makeup and I don't wear wigs. Okay? So because I don't wear makeup every day and I don't wear wigs every day, she feels as if I have let myself go through the talon, Woo! through the talon, okay, through the talon, let it go. I don't even care no more. That's what she basically saying because I don't wear no motherfucking makeup every day and I don't wear a wig every day. I let myself go. She also did, did mention that I put on a few pounds and... That maybe I might be depressed or going through something. And I'm to let it loose and vocalize that shit on YouTube. Or take a break. You know what be so fucking funny to me? Is that a person will come up to you, right? It could be any random person. It could be a person that... You, well, it can't be any random person. But it's, it's definitely going to be somebody you knew or know, okay? They come up to you 
and say the dumbest shit sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like, they will say, like, the dumbest shit sometimes. Like, if a person haven't seen you in a minute, they'll be like, when they see you, oh, you put on a few pounds. Bitch, I don't need you to tell me I put on some motherfucking weight. Don't you think I know that? I live with my motherfucking self. I look at myself every day in the goddamn mirror. Who the fuck are you talking to? Like, bitch, I don't know that. Like, you you don't think I know that? When my bra size is a little bit small now, so I had to size up, size up? Or, let's see, my pant size, my shirt size, my panty size is all a different size. It wasn't the size I was wearing last year because them shits got real tight. So don't you think I would have noticed that then? Don't you think that's why my fucking black ass be going to the gym okay listen i don't think i need anybody to tell me that i put on some other fucking weight yes bitch i did and what okay it behooves me i just be like did you really just write that what the hell is wrong with you but also because i don't wear makeup and wigs on a daily basis or just when i come on camera i'm probably depressed no bitch i just feel like this I'm definitely not depressed, but I'm not going through anything that normal people don't go through. However, I feel like this. You got to love the skin that you live in, the skin that you have. Why not fucking embrace the motherfucking skin that you have? I feel like this. Why do I need to come on here and put makeup on every time I do a real talk? It's called real motherfucking talk. That means I can come as I am. However, you must be blind because I do have on makeup. I have on some lip gloss. I got on my favorite eyebrow pen, which is from NYX, which is the Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. I love it for those of you guys who've been asking me about it. Here it goes. Color Espresso. So I come on real talk and I do put on a little bit of makeup. Nothing like I would do as a wig tutorial, but I just put on a little bit of blush lip gloss and that's that you know what I'm saying I'm not about to put on foundation and concealer I'm not about to do all of that okay but because I don't wear a wig every time I come up on YouTube what does that mean that I'm depressed bitch can't I have um, my own hair out and let that shit breathe I'm trying to grow my motherfucking edges back okay to be honest with you and on top of that I get hot flashes I don't really feel like who the fuck am I impressing am I supposed to be impressed y'all you gonna either like me who, for who the fuck I am or not like me at all you gonna either take me for who I am or don't take me at all meaning if you don't like what you see without the motherfucking makeup then bitch carry along like it be the grown folks for me that just don't realize how childish they sound and act at times but i feel like this y'all be saying some dumb shit to me sometimes y'all come at me with some disrespectful nonsense and i be so like I, I just clutch my pearls and i just gather myself because i don't want to come up as like a really nasty individual because i'm not that but i will come for you sometimes Sometimes I'll come for you even if you didn't come for me because I know you're going to come for me. You know what I'm saying? Did you hear what I said? Like, I will come for you even if you don't come for me because I know you're about to come for me. I'm attacked first. Um, I just be trying to be too nice sometimes to people and not even just y'all, just in general. And I, there are things that I want to say, but I just don't say it because I don't want to come off as being mean, disrespectful, hurtful, or anything like that. It's almost 2022, so let's start the new year off, okay? Because that'll be next year, next month, okay? Next month is the new year. Let's start that new year off with a bang, okay? Meaning no dumb shit. Don't come at me with no foolishness. And we can all be friends, okay? But yes, I don't have to come on here every day or wear makeup in my daily life every day or wigs. Let me tell you something. I love the skin that I have. And honestly, I really don't like wearing foundation and stuff on my face all the time because it's so heavy. But anyway, you guys, let's get into this real talk. You know what I'm saying? Let's do this real talk because I've chibber jabbered enough. Huh? 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 All right, guys. So you already know what to do for real talk. If you need a real talk about you, you can always send me an email to Muffin. It's my lovers2012 at gmail.com or April's Real Talk at gmail.com. Please make sure to put in the subject line real talk. If you want to go ahead and change the names of the people that you're talking about in that email, you can go ahead and do so. So that way nobody may know who you're talking about. And if you don't, I'm going to go ahead and change the names anyway. If you don't, let me know that you 
change the names. So on that note, here we go. Okay. Um, can I just start by saying what's up, divas? I am a longtime fan of yours. Oh, I shouldn't say it like that, right? Can I just start up? Uh, can I just start by saying what's up, divas? I am a longtime fan of yours, Miss April, and I have watched all of your videos, even if. I wasn't into wearing wigs at the time I was watching it because you have such a relatable personality. I have been struggling with life for the last few years now and I have been trying so hard to clean up my act and do right by myself along with many other people who probably are at their wits end with me. I have been addicted to drugs over the past years. My drug of choice is meth. I do use other drugs such as crack cocaine and pills. Basically, at times, whatever I can find to get me going. My family is done with me. They really don't want to... <clears throat> excuse me. My family is done with me. They really don't want too many dealings with me as I have stolen from them and lied. Miss April, I have been going to treatment daily to become clean, and I have been clean for a now a period of four months. There have been plenty of times when I want to slide back into the world and just be high. But I have a daughter and I'm really trying to raise her properly. She now lives with her father and she is four years old. I live in Michigan and I honestly want to be normal again. Perfect again. Whole again. A person again. I have been to rehabs five times and I don't stay the entire process. The last time I was, the last time I was at a rehab was over six months ago. And I ended up leaving after a little over a week, which was the longest I have ever stayed at any rehab that was inpatient treatment. I feel like a failure and really want to give up at times from living because what good am I to anyone? Is this going to be something I have to deal with the rest of my life? If so, what's the sense of going on? I just want to live a normal life like yourself and your subs and your subscribers. I want you. I want what you have and others have. What am I doing wrong? Please help me understand. <clears throat> she didn't give herself a name. Let's call her Meg because she said she lived in Michigan. I don't know, just kind of went together. We'll just call her Meg, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not really sure how old Meg is because she didn't mention it, but it seemed like she really going through it, girl. Like, you know what I'm saying? She feel like she ready to give up on life because she feels like a failure. Has been using meth for the past years. That is her drug of choice. However, she also has used and will use crack cocaine and pills. Basically, whatever she can get her hands on just to get her going, but she prefers meth. Her family don't want to have nothing to do with her no more because she's lied and stolen from them. And she got a four-year-old daughter who lives with her father. Wow. And she's been clean now for four months. Okay, so I want to say this. First of all, you you doing good. Four months. Listen, girl, congratulations on that. You know what I'm saying? That is the beginning of a life change, okay? So let's 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 take some some steps forward and feel good about the accomplishment for four months because some people can't even do four days let alone four weeks and you've done four months so that's an accomplishment okay you know what I'm saying like it's hard to break a bad habit and that could go for anything but as long as you keep trying don't give up you know what I'm saying but she just feel like she want to be a normal person she want to have what I have and what you guys have which is I guess a normal life however she what, what got me in this email that Meg wrote was this that she was like um she feels like a failure and really wants to give up first of all let me tell you this sweetheart you can bump your head many times and as long as your ass get the fuck up then and, and and keep it pushing then that's what's up when you bump your head and just lay out and don't get up then that's when you feel like a failure. And that's when you've given up. And that's when you need to get the fuck up. But if you bumped your head enough times and you got back up and you still got yourself to where you need to be, which is where you're at right now, then let's feel like that's an accomplishment. Like, what's so bad? Like, what people, like, I see people, they, they do nonsense. They do foolish shit. Like, people don't realize, like, a lot of people don't realize, like, this world consists of so many different people with so many different personalities and so many different um traits and so many different habits and so many different lifestyles like you know what i'm saying and it, it's sad when you could look down upon someone because they might have like a bad habit like a drug habit or an alcohol drinking habit i feel 
empathy for these people because it is a habit and they need help. And sometimes when you look down on a person, that's not going to help them out. And it's sad when you can hear someone say that they feel like a failure. Like I felt like that plenty of times about things like in life. It doesn't, you know what I'm saying? It could, oh, I'm pretty sure we all have felt like we have failed at something, but we keep it pushing and we keep going. You know what I'm saying? And listen, Meg, you got a four-year-old daughter who I know would love to spend a lifetime with you. She's a little girl. You got two reasons to keep fighting. One, for yourself, you know what I'm saying? And two, for your daughter. Those are the main reasons that you need to continue doing what you're doing and not feel like a failure. A failure? Nah, girl. You definitely not a failure, okay? You definitely not a failure. A failure, you never fail until you stop trying, okay? You never fail until you stop trying, straight up. No said that? You never fail until you stop trying? Albert Einstein. You never fail until you stop trying. Everybody goes through a different life experience. Let me tell you something. If you don't try again, that's when you fail. But I don't see a failure if you try. You might have went to rehab five times, but that's five times more than anybody has at went at all. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you've went five times to rehab, Meg, right? Somebody else in your same predicament hasn't gone at all. So you went five times more than the next person has. I don't find it to be a failure when you have tried once. And then it didn't work out, you got back up, and then you tried twice, and then it didn't work out, and you tried three times. That's a lot of times to try some same shit over and over. So I give you credit because that's not a failure move. You know what I'm saying? Shit don't happen overnight. Rome wasn't built overnight. You know what I'm saying? So like shit, shit don't work just like that. I'll be the first to tell you, listen, I go, I've been going to the gym for like a couple months now. Girl, I'm still trying to figure out. What the fuck am I doing wrong? Why is my stomach still right there? The only thing, and why am I still the same weight? You know what I'm saying? Like, I am, like, two pounds heavier, but I don't even, some days I gain weight, and then I lose it. Like, the only thing that has changed on me is my ass cheeks, okay? They have gotten much bigger. I hear it from my daughters all the time. You, you're about to see you're about to see That's all I hear, okay? Maybe because that's probably the most that I be working out on in the gym. Girl, I ain't trying to be killing myself in the gym, but I am trying new things, but I know that I have gained weight, but I don't even give a fuck, okay? Because, like, look, I'm juicy, baby. But anyway, like, I be feeling the same way sometimes. Like, I keep trying and trying, and just sometimes the shit just doesn't work out for me. And then I be really wanting to say, I'm not even going to be bothered. But you know what? I keep going. So I go every day to the gym. Every fucking day. Didn't go today. I didn't get to go today because I had a leg appointment, you know, a vein appointment. But I go every day because I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to feel like, oh, I gave up. I never want to call myself a failure because a failure is a negative word. And I would never want to put anything negative on myself. You know what I'm saying? Failure, fail and failure is a negative word. Don't ever put that on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't attach that to yourself because that's a negative word. You don't want no negative shit in your space. We don't need negativity. But I'll tell you what, life is hard, girl. Life is hard. Never feel like a failure. You want what I got? Bitch, what I got? You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't, this is the part people, people be like, oh, goals, relationship goals, hashtag life goals. It, you know what I'm saying? What's that old saying? Um, the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. Some, some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, so you don't really know what goes on in my household. You don't really know what goes on in my life. You don't really know what I go through. You know what I'm saying? So you want what I have? I have like a lot going on in my life. And it just feels like sometimes I want to scream and get away. And that's why I keep saying I'm moving to Alaska where I can get away from everybody. Nobody will find me. And if they do know where I live, they're not going to come visit. Who the fuck want to come visit you in Alaska? So I'm like waiting until my daughter, Mumsy, is old enough i'm moving to alaska by myself she doesn't nobody's gonna find me nobody's gonna come visit me i'm just gonna be like a little eskimo not an eskimo but you know what i'm saying and that's that because I, you, you know what i'm saying that's just me but one what i got girl or you want what the other or my subscribers have and what is that because what's normal? She, she says she want to be a normal person. You know what I'm saying? She want to be a normal person. Okay, let me see. Where's it at? <clears throat> she says she wants to be normal again. She wants to be perfect again. She wants to be whole again. And she wants to feel like a person again. So for one, all of these things, like who says what is, where is it written down that this and that is normal? Like this is the part that gets me. Like there are some things that I would definitely say that's not normal, that's abnormal. I definitely would say that. It's normal to a lot of people. We need to stop classifying a lot of things. Now, I'm not saying, oh, well, drugs are normal because 
it is a part of society. She is not the only person that's going through this in, in, in society. There's probably somebody in everyone's family that's going through something like this, okay? Let's let's be straight. Let's be for real to the point. Like, I'm going to be serious, you know what I'm saying? There's probably somebody in everybody's family that's going through this. So what's, what's normal, okay? To go through something like this, everybody got something going on in their lives. You don't know what the next person might really be going through. You don't know. That's why I say, your crazy ain't my crazy. Her crazy ain't my crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all go through some shit and we all approach it a different way and you know what I'm saying try to resolve shit a different way and to call yourself a failure sweetheart we don't do that we don't talk negativity upon ourselves and to say what good are you to anybody girl please what did I just say you got a little girl you and her are gonna be putting bowls in each other's hair and playing with little Barbie dolls and stuff like that let me tell you if she don't like Barbies force her Barbies are the best thing ever I love Barbies but you know what I'm saying like what do you mean you're not who are you good for you're good for yourself okay and you're good for your daughter point blank you guys life be hard as fuck and it's just so sad that people think about other shit that is really like people you know what it is people make a big deal about shit that's so minute you know what i mean like I don't know if that's what you want to call it. If it's, it's like a minute thing or like some things they just take it way out of content. Like, okay, you, you just went and took that too far. Some people have the mindset where they just really don't care about nothing. They don't care if they scar another person's heart or feelings. They don't care about stuff like that. And it's just sad when you see a person walking around like that with like no concern, no care in the world. Like I'm here to just destroy whatever the hell I can. Like that's just so sad. And it's one thing to destroy others, but to destroy yourself, don't ever destroy yourself by talking ill about yourself, saying that you're a failure. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't call ourselves failures. We don't. That's negativity. Ain't nobody perfect in this world. Okay. Ain't nobody perfect. Some of y'all might want to feel like you are or close to it. Some of y'all might know in your brains and hearts that you are the perfect person. But ain't nobody perfect in this world, okay? And that's what life is all about. We got to learn. We got to help. We got to teach each other. And I just feel like this. There be so much shit going on in the world today. Let me tell y'all. And I'm pretty sure y'all probably know about it. But I, was, I had went onto YouTube and a 15-year-old killed went to school today and shot up the school okay killed three people three students and injured six one of those six was a teacher and of course the the police apprehended this 15 year old but it's like what made him or her go to school ready to kill people to shoot that shit up you know what i'm saying like you didn't just wake up that day and be like you know what i'm just gonna go to the school and do something just wrong i'm just gonna do something bad today you didn't wake up and and, and feel like that you know what I'm saying this is something like that's been brewing stewing for a minute it could be anything he could have been he could have been a kid that was being bullied you know what i'm saying or he could have just been going through something like really tragic at home it's given them a, a, num a number of things but you know what i'm saying like life be like really serious and people worry about like the wrong things sometimes when there are things like this going on in the world like children shouldn't feel like they have to come to school loaded locked and loaded ready to take over the world you know what I'm saying kids shouldn't feel like that as well as a person should never feel like they're a failure regardless if they've made some wrong decisions in life never feel like you're a failure now if you're a serial killer killer or you know what I'm saying something like that I don't know what to tell you this video is definitely not for you but for us normal people because Meg you're definitely a normal person you know what I'm saying? And don't always feel like everybody has a great life because you see what you see on the internet or on television. Like, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot going on, girl. I'm not one of those YouTubers that um, make buku bucks and don't have to do shit but upload one video a month. I'm definitely not one of those. But I will say I enjoy my life. I'm happy with my life. And I couldn't ask for anything more. You know what I'm saying? Especially because I have a beautiful family who loves and adores me. And I love them and I adore them as well. And they ain't perfect neither. Okay? But nobody's perfect. And you have to make the best of what you have and what you're doing. And I commend you because to you, Meg, to you, Meg, four months might not seem long. 
okay, that's fine. But to someone else that's going through the same thing, it might seem amazing to them. So don't say that you're a failure and don't ever say that what good are you to anyone because that is just like speaking negativity on yourself and you don't want to do that. So don't, don't attach that to yourself. Realize that you got to live for you and baby girl, okay? For real. And don't think like what I have or any of my subscribers have is a pot of gold. Straight up. We just normal people living normal lives like you. Straight up, okay? Next Saturday, excuse me, next Saturday. Why the fuck did I say Saturday? Next Wednesday, we're gonna do, um, next Wednesday Real Talk is gonna be like, you know, there's some shit that I really gotta talk about and like let, let go. But also, I felt like, you know what, let me do like a Q&A also in that Real Talk. So, and I'll answer them. So what I'll do is, I'm asking you guys now to leave your questions down below of what you want to ask me. You know, you could ask me, hey, April, where do you get your eyelashes from? Or, hey, April, when are you going to go on a date again? Or, you know what I'm saying? Just ask me a question. Don't get too motherfucking nosy. But, I mean, you can get nosy as you want. I don't really give a shit. Doesn't mean I'm going to answer it. But, yeah, so next week, real talk. I, you know, there's some shit that I really want to talk about to you guys that I haven't said on account of a lot of things. But I just really want to talk to you guys about it. But also, I will answer your questions. So go ahead and leave your comments in this video. I mean, and also, you can leave your questions, too, for me. And on that note, happy holidays. Um, because it's about to be Christmas. I love Christmas. Yes. Yes. I love Christmas, okay? Oh, my God, I love Christmas. But, um, yeah, you guys, I love you all. Stay Diva and Diva Lichas. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.